Alright. Welcome to Prison Architect by Introversion Software. This is uh it's the intro here. Just just for information status. Uh this is actually Alpha 2. Um it's the newest update. It just came out today. Um actually I said it came out at eleven fifty-eight. Um it was uh, compiled, but it's it's 11:20 right now where I'm at. So uh, they're they're probably in a different time zone. It's supposed to be uh, a lot of a lot of nice updates. Patrolling, patrolling would be one of them. Uh, they fix pipes, so uh, we'll see how nice and smooth the game runs, right? Prison Architect. Okay. So. So we're good. Okay. CEO. <clears throat> this is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Ooh. Okay. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door in the south wall. Okay, so, uh, prisoner intake three arriving at 22 hours. Oh, wow. Construct a building. Uh, to house the execution facility and build a large jail door entrance. All right. Foundations building. Click and drag. Okay, voila. Okay. CEO. Your workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. Well, yeah, I mean, they're called workmen. If they didn't work, what else would they do? They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. Again, I, I would figure that as I see them do it. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. Okay. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD or the arrow keys to move around. And use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. And I figured it'd be, you know, like mouse bump. Kind of like StarCraft where you could just scroll over and up and up and over and stuff like that. But well, that's good. Uh, requires an entrance. Uh, objects. Large jail door. Good stuff. I guess we'll we'll set that there. Hopefully one of our workmen will come do that. I like the animations on these guys. I mean it's not really animations, but the the styling of these people. They they look neat. It's uh it's cartoony so it doesn't make it so serious that you you know, you're running a prison, but it's nice. Voila, I guess we have ourselves a a building. Inside the building, I want a jail cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. So we go to, I guess, materials. Uh, intake. Prisoner uh, prisoner intake. 20 hours, 18, 17 minutes. And build four internal walls out of brick, I guess. So select, click, and drag single ones you can just click and voila these two 
we'll finish it off. Um, as you can see over here, we have a clock that shows you the time. I think I remember someone saying that every second uh, in real life is a minute in the time, or in, in, in game time. Uh, this is regular play, this is slow down play, this is pause, and this is fast forward. So we want this to go a little faster. We'll click fast forward and as you see all our guys speed up. Really, really get this job done at uh, crack and speed. We'll hit normal right before this, right before these guys finish. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, add the large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button. Okay. Put one there. Uh, that's kind of awkward. I mean, I, I figured they would use like E or, or well, yeah, E or R to rotate it or something. Something right nice to the WASD. Would be pretty good, but we'll see. This is uh, like I said, this is this is actually still an alpha. So, and this is alpha build two. Um, I, I was monkeying around with alpha build one earlier today, trying to get this recorded, and my, my recorder wasn't cooperating. And, uh, well, by the time I came home, there was a new alpha build out. So I figured I'd download that and, and show you all what's going on. That's good looking. Now we need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. Okay, so you, you click rooms. I guess for the cell, click and drag. Um, cells has re requirements. It needs to be a two by three. It needs to be indoors. It needs to have a bed and a toilet. Uh, execution room needs to be indoors and have an electric chair. Doesn't need to be so big. It doesn't need to be big at all. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Yeah, 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 we saw that we need a bed and, and toilet. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. Go figure. The execution room requires the electric chair. Yes, but why'd you make it so big? It's kind of kind of morbid. So, electric chair, toilet, rotate around, middle click. And ourselves a bed. Um, no idea how long that'll take. Let's uh, let's speed these guys up. Prisoner intakes in uh, 16 hours. Need the bed, bed, toilet, and the electric chair. Which is, you know, I have all my guys working right now. So, bam, electric chair. I have a knife. Why is that guy with a knife chasing somebody else over here? Oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna say this is on fast forward, right? Like, I, these guys take their sweet time. Alright, normal. See? Oh, yeah. That's the essentials taken care of, but there's still a few improvements you could make. Well, I mean, that always are. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself can be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. The guy's on death, death row. I mean, I guess. A window. Look out. The facility would look better with a higher-quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Yeah, I guess. I mean, how many ritzy prisons have death row, though? Outside, you can add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. I guess. Oh, it's the dude from the intro. All right, all right. He's talking to the priest. This man, uh, this is the man in question, Edward Romsey. Rom Romsey? A teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. 
Ooh. Okay, okay dude. All right, boss. I mean, with a stern finger and the, the, the grimace there. Jeez. Not, oh, I guess not a grimace, but angered, man. Look at that V. V, bro. <laughs> I think that was a prisoner laughing, too. That's funny. Okay. So, once you are satisfied, the facility is ready. You can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him to select him, then right-click just outside his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. Um, oh, optionals. Add a window to the cell. Add a bookshelf to the cell. So, I already got that. Uh, oh, maybe this one up here. We do floor. Build a path. Get some outdoor lighting. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess we'll... We'll build a window here. Some lights. That's horrible. Whatever. A bookshelf there and... Objects. Yeah, I got the window going, man. Chill out. Uh, path. Pathway. No. Materials. Oh. oh okay, painting stone. Click and drag, I think, looks like everything else, right? Voila! And then, uh, redo the flooring with high he said something about mosaic, right? Make this whole place mosaic. And I guess we'll we'll speed up time so that you guys can, you know, get on with it. <laughs> wow! I guess the, that was a big motivator right there for him. One, two, three, four, voila! Well, I guess I can do the the transfer. Um, click on him, right click. Okay, okay. I guess. Oh, the chief. Um, definitely 1950s gangster voice. What? No. Oh, okay, there we go. Don't shed a tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer, guilty as charged. He even confessed. Wanna hear his description of what he did? No. Why isn't there a yes no here? I don't No. I mean he's on death row. Other other dude said that Law did it. Uh, it's juicy stuff. It was around eleven PM. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh. So this is our death row inmate. What is he doing outside? Jail cell. This is a luxurious jail cell. It's the house. I guess it's the house. Oh. Oh snap. Oh, double snap. Yeah. Oh, snap. He got a gun? Am I going to get it? Oh, he's talking. Um. Uh, crazy? Okay. We'll, we'll do it real deep, I guess. I knew I'd catch you two here. Uh. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Oh, he's gonna bust the cap, fools. Get it. Oh. That's so bad. In the silence. That's the sound of forgiveness. <laughs> oh, wow, jeez. Uh, 
didn't need that photo, but... Okay... I guess he's... He's running out? I mean, you shot two people, I'd, I'd run out of the house too. I guess. Oh, uh, 1930 Chief. Uh, clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. Oh, the priest. Um, really old man, I guess? He deserves all our forgiveness. Even him. Or, all men deserve forgiveness. Even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you could deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went in there with a loaded gun. Knowing he'd find them together, that's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? You want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. I guess they're walking him to the, to the cell we built there. You got a window, dude, and a bookshelf. That'd be grateful, Edward. Bosco. Good walk so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet, because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical electricity supply. <laughs> supply. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Oh, matrix mode. Oh, okay, okay. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode. Matrix mode sounds better though which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. And voila. Okay, generator, right? Batteries. Power is provided to the prison by the substation which draws electricity from the national grid. I guess it's kind of like a generator. Substation draws electricity, I guess. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Matrix mode! Yeah. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the wiring of, to cover the wing of this prison. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So one, two, three, four, five electrical rooms. Okay, cable. I think you can stretch and drag. Good. Rotate it to go down. Uh, voila! Speed some time up. One, two, three, four, five. I think that should do this. Hopefully. Oh! Oh, you can still see him do it. Well, that's cool. I want. Oh, Matrix mode is cool. Well, they did this already? Voila. Oh, snap. Snap, son. Yeah, boss knows I did good. Yeah. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does, too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Alright, simple enough, I guess. Just run the power. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with mains cables. Alright, give it big cables, alright, okay. Good 
switch it. There we go. Oh, it's a door, I guess. I mean, I think I should stretch, right? Oh, I need some ice room for. Go faster, my minion. Faster. What are you doing? Why? What's going? Do it. Someone do it. Come on. Yeah, Speedy. You got this. No? You don't got this? What you doing, buddy? This guy, maybe? Huh? You do it? Yeah! Come on, Bob Builder. I'll get some. See? See? A little bit of glitch, but not a problem. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, what are we testing on? Hopefully not me, because you're pointing kind of funny. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Does a uh, electric chair work with nobody in it? I guess not. You just just killed the prison. It's all black, I guess. Blinking at me. Stop blinking! Well, that didn't work. No shit. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Okay, I mean, makes sense. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Step one, switch each capacitor back on by clicking them in utilities mode. Step two, switch the power station back on by clicking it on. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it in utilities mode to turn it on. Okay. Um, more prisoners, okay. Turn the power station back on. In utilities mode, click in each capacitor, click the power station to restart it. Expand the power station with three capacitors. That's the chair again, okay. So, uh, switch on. Switch on. Yeah, okay. You just click on them, switch on. That's pretty easy. Or you kick this button back on. Oh, yeah! Zap and power! Utility, utilities. Capacitor. One, two, three. What, son? I not say what it really does, though. Get some, guys. Get those capacitors up. Come on. You're already on fast. Do a fat work. Oh, there's one guy. Box? Your name is Box? Oh, it's Workman. Hey, get that going. Money! No. No, I think we're good. Normal time. Took it down the um, It says utility. What? Whatever. Switch it on. We're good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. I guess you don't have to use utilities mode after all. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. You look very stern. Your 
pointing at me angrily? I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That's a little prison architect, uh, Jesus, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really holy place. Big old cross. Drunk guy? What are you doing, drunk guy? Uh. Can I help you? Oh, it's Edward. Oh, it's the dude. Got blood on him, though. On his face. Rosary beads? That's weird. Da da da. Da da da. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live without yourself until you fade up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. Oh yeah, uh, I guess it's like last rites or something? Sounds, sounds about right, last rites? Why does he have blood on him though? Yeah. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Yes. Is it really what they say? I guess not many people will be around to tell you. Huh. It's time, Edward. You have done the right thing. Even though this world will not forgive you, you will, f will forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, obviously, there's a huge sign this is execution. I hope they can't see these things because that would be. You're just like, yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I can move. These, these are kind of like 1950s scary comic book Polaroids. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like how the actual game is like kind of a. Little cartoonish thing. That's music. That's scary. Edward, say goodbye. I give you permission to die. <laughs> oh, I guess not yet. Man in a hood. Are you scared of people with hats on? Or hoods? Hoods on? Oh, 1950s chief. He's he's angry. Edward Romsey. Oh my god. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? I guess he's become an Irish 1950s cop. Susan. I'm sorry. Dun 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 Oh wow that's pretty good. Wow my heart's racing a little bit. Well that's nice, that's calming. That's good music. Okay. Um Press escape to continue. I guess there's no more. Okay, so I guess there's no more. Um, that was the introduction to Prison Architect. This is version Alpha 2. And it's, uh, you know, obviously in Alpha and it's still in Vanilla. 
So, uh, if you want to try to get this game, you can go to, I believe, prison-architect.com, and you can buy it from them. Um, yep, prison-architect.com. Uh, next time on the new episode, uh, we're going to be creating our own prison and uh, taking this pony for a ride. So, hope to see you next time on TTM. See you soon.